Hello everyone, today we are talking about money. Scary! <laughs> I feel like money is seen as really taboo and really scary um, still now in everyday conversation and I don't think that's right. Uh, obviously we live in a capitalist society which means that money is at the centre of anything. Money is what makes the world go round in the society that we have built up. I'm not saying that I agree with this, I don't. <laughs> Down with capitalism, I'm all for it. But I think if we're living within this society, then we deserve to know how our money is being used and we should think about what we are doing with our money because it is our most powerful tool whilst capitalism is a structure that still exists. So on that topic today, I wanted to talk a little bit about ethical banking. There are loads and loads of different forms of ethical banking depending on what you're doing but today I'm just going to be talking about sort of current accounts and I guess some saving accounts. I think a big misconception about banks is that you give them your money and then your money just stays there. That's not the case. When you give a bank your money they take your money and they invest it and make money off it. So they will invest it and get profits off that and they'll give some of the interest from that to you, which is why you can get interest from your bank. But they'll also use that money to gain profit for themselves. So, banks invest money. They invest your money that you have given them. So the biggest conventional banks are one of the biggest investors in the causes of climate change, which means that conventional banks of the people who are investing in fossil fuel companies, they're investing in fracking, they're investing in oil. Um, big banks also invest in the arms trade, they invest in bomb making, oil drilling, fracking. It's, it's not good if you're someone like me who values your ethics, <laughs> you think we should not be investing in climate change and you think that we should not be investing in guns then the banks are basically funding wars and are funding climate change. And they're doing that with your money. This is because banks have shareholders. What this means is that people have bought a bit of the bank and they get all of the profits. So a bank makes money and it goes to the small amount of people who own shares in the company. There is a slight difference here with some banks, which are not actually banks, they're building societies. You may have heard of that. Building societies are actually owned by the members, which means that they are not making profit for external people. All of the profits they are made are reinvested back into the people who have current accounts with them, who have um, savings accounts with them. And also building societies are a bit more tightly regulated, so I believe they have to have about 75% of their assets um, in buildings, which means that they can't invest or they don't have as much money to invest in other more ethically dubious things. These aren't the only things that you can look for in ethical banking. Uh, so you, you can also look at the bank's actual environmental policy and the workers' rights for the people who work for the bank and their political involvement. Um, so some of them might be dodgily funding political campaigns and things like that. When you're looking at the banks that you bank with, um, there are kind of two questions you can ask. What does your bank invest in? And does your bank pay its taxes? Because a lot of banks don't. So there are lots of websites below where you can go really in depth if you want to find out specifics about specifically what your bank is investing in um, and specifically whether they pay their taxes. But there are also some websites that have kind of done this for us and ranked them. So some of the best banks on these websites are Charity Bank, Triados Bank, the Nationwide Building Society and other online banks like Monzo. Um, so those are the best rated ones. Some of the worst are the ones that you're more likely to be banking with. RBS, NatWest, HSBC, Barclays, Lloyd, Halifax, Santander. All of these get really, really bad ethical ratings. Obviously it's up to you what you do with your money, but if you do feel like you perhaps want to switch your money over to a more ethical bank, this isn't that hard to do. Uh, there's a thing called the current account switch service, which means that basically 
when you switch banks, they automatically transfer all of your payments to your new current account without you having to do anything. And it takes just two weeks. So I've used it twice already because I slightly messed up my banking. Um, but both times it's worked absolutely perfectly for me. I've had no trouble. So I would really encourage you to take a moment out of your day, have a look at your card, see what bank you're with, and just quickly look them up to see what their ethical rating is. If you do have strong beliefs in ethics, then you probably want your bank to match those. Individuals own almost half of global capital, which means that almost half of the wealth in the world is owned by individuals like us, which means that we have power in where we choose to put our money. It may seem small when it's just one person, but in the big grand scheme of things, we have a lot of power. Money might seem confusing, but if you take five, ten minutes to stop and learn a little bit about it, you'll be way more empowered in what you can do with your own money and you'll also be making a really positive difference to the world. I hope you learned something from that um, and that you'll think about it. See you soon.